This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. Big up on yourself. Alright, so in this one my viewers and subscribers, I just want to take a quick look at what is happening here in the four-day um, championship, right? We see Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago doing their thing. And I must say with the England Test Series coming up, one would have thought that these batsmen would have, you know, gone out there and would have stuck their hands up to say, hear what? I need a space on this team. Same thing for the bowlers. So I, <laughs> I'm not too impressed with some of the numbers that I'm seeing here, especially for the top order batsmen. But nonetheless, I'm going to go through and um, you know basically have a conversation with you guys as it relates to what is happening. So, so far, based on what I'm seeing on the CWI website, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, <laughs> they, are, they are actually doing their thing. They are dominating against Jamaica right now leading by 93 runs so Jamaica Scorp uh, Scorpions they actually got bowled out for 141 yes man 141 in 51.4 overs so once again you see that the batsmen they did not come to the party at all having said that Trinidad and Tobago they have a couple of good bowlers we had Jaden Seas, Shannon Gabriel and a couple of others operating but um, you know when you look at it Jamaica, uh, Jamaica um, Scorpions, there are a couple of players there that would have played at the international level, at the highest level, that one would think, you know, they would have gone out and would have grabbed the opportunity. Say, for example, John Campbell, he's one of them. He only got 25 of 61. And in that 25, he had three fours. Now, with the situation being as it is, as it relates to our opening position in Test Cricket, one would think that, you know, a man going to try and grab the opportunity to say, all right, you know, we know that Craig Brathwaite, the captain, is a stable opener there. You know, we are basically switching between personnel, trying to find an opener. So, you know, now would have been a good time for John Campbell to go out there and say, boy, from the start, I am going to try and get some runs. I, As I said, I didn't watch the game, so I don't know how he got out. Based on what I'm seeing here, I am seeing, seeing where it was um, Charles Bold and Kantu. Uh, took the catch so uh, yeah he, he got 25 Leroy Log was his opening partner didn't get anything much he only got one and West Indies test vice captain Jermaine Blackwood he hung around for some time he got 44 of 72 so he's definitely going to be trying to get some runs under his belt uh, you know they are experimenting with him I don't know if they're going to try to put him back at the top of the order against England or what they are going to do but anywhere it is that he's going to be batting he needs to be scoring runs because he's in the team as a specialist batsman so um, he's, he got 44 you know so we, we definitely going to be looking to see how things goes as the, 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 the tournament continues Paul Palmer is another is another player that would have been um, in the in the in the team for a while now you know he has scored a lot of runs for Jamaica um i think i think um when when john campbell isn't there i think paul palmer is the one that actually kept in the team so paul palmer um he got 24 of 78 deliveries it wasn't really really a lot there um we have alwyn williams you know somebody that scores a lot of runs for jamaica didn't get much this time he only got five i i actually went to the trial trials um the jamaica trials and he had a nice century i think he had over 150 yeah man, he had he had some runs there, so he'll be get looking to get some runs. We had about three our our so persons not scoring. You know, Romain Morrison didn't score. Um, Derval Green also didn't score. Jeremy Merchant, another man that has been on the scene for a while, didn't score. Marquino Minley, pace bowler, he got 22. Nicholas um, Garden got one, and Patrick Harty was um, was left not out on zero. So that is what it looked like um, in, the, in the 141 that Jamaica got my viewers and subscribers. Now if we were to look at Trinidad and Tobago, based on what I am seeing here, Keegan Simmons, he is, I, I remember a couple of persons calling his name on the Sports, Sports to the Bone live show, you know, saying that he is another player that we can look at at the top of the order there. He got 11 of 27. He was bowled by Garden. Joshua De Silva, another test player. 
he bought um he, he got 37 from 91 so yes joshua the silver as we know but but up the order for trinidad and tobago so he got um 37 of 91 four fours included you know jason mohammed another mainstay in trinidad and tobago um what, what are they called red force in their setup he has been he, has, he, he, he actually got 22 from 29 and the man that got but the bulk of the runs now I think his name is yannick yeah man he got 72 of 223 deliveries so we're talking about a man that actually actually occupied the crease was able to score and in those 223 deliveries that he faced he only played five fours and got 72 runs um so yeah now the next player um google I, he got he, he he got only six um isaiah he got 58 brian charles um, was left not out without scoring so those are the guys that did the damage there oh i didn't even remember to tell you guys um the bowlers for trinidad and tobago who got who, who did the damage for them uh so shannon gabriel yeah man shannon gabriel actually played he, he only bowled six overs not sure why if he wasn't feeling well or what but he had four overs one maiden didn't pick up any wicket Jaden seals the young excited um exciting talent he got 10 overs in four maidens he got two wickets gave away 17 runs so Jaden sees a man that we are definitely looking forward to you know continuing his his thing anderson philip his three his 11 overs cost him 26 runs didn't pick up any wicket uh brian charles he had a uh, majority of the wickets he actually had six wickets yes my viewers and subscribers brian charles that is 20 overs five maidens um, 48 runs and six wickets Imran Khan doing his usual thing getting four overs in one wicket so those are the guys that were able to pick up the wickets for Trinidad and Tobago all right so let me tell you the guys that were able to get the wickets for Jamaica yes man because we're looking for people you know we're looking for people man yeah man <laughs> we're looking for people to to, 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 to stick their hands up now Marquino Minley He's another pace bowler that, you know, when he came on the scene was very exciting. We're not sure what really happened, but he is still there, there about. He got, um, he got 20 overs in, picked up two wickets. Um, Nicholas uh, Garden, he got 21 overs in and was able to get three wickets. Um, Derval Green got one wicket. So, you know, those, those would have accounted for the six wickets that um, went down for Trinidad and Tobago. So, based on what I am seeing here, um, Trinidad would be leading by 93 runs. As I said, my viewers and subscribers, if my commentary um, as it relates to this is not that clear, I am not following the game. I, didn't, I wasn't even paying attention to who was batting first, who was batting second. You know, you, you know the whole transition period that's happening with me here. So, um, as soon as I am able to get everything up and running, I'll be able to follow the thing more closely. So, I just wanted to make sure that I give you guys um, some numbers here. Because I know a lot of persons are not um, actually getting a chance to, to, to see what is happening. Now, the next game, we had Barbados. Well, we have Barbados and Leewards. Leewards. And based on what I am seeing here, Leewards the same thing like Jamaica, getting bowled out. Uh, well, not bowled out, didn't really score much. 172 for 9 declared. Am I seeing correctly? <laughs> that is what I'm seeing there. 172 for 9 declared. You know, um, Barbados got 324 all out. So as I said, guys, I am not really following the game. So I'm not sure. You know, I just want to go through and give you guys the numbers so you can know the players that are actually... Um, you know sticking their hands up right so for leewards you know 172 for nine um the, the guys that really uh key um poil yeah man he's another guy that i think you know they are looking looking at um he opened the innings with hodge hodge only got seven right kiran poil he, he he got 43 you know, um, one might say that his time has come and passed. Powell, that is. But he got 43 from 76. And, you know, he had eight flashy fours in that. You know, Casey Carty, another guy that he has been on the scene for a while. He got 20 or 41. Uh, Devon Thomas, their wicked keeper. Ever so faithful man. You know, he got um, 58 of 77 deliveries. So once again, um, doing a lot of work for them. 
Uh, the next player, Hamilton, Jamar Hamilton. And as we know, he's the wicket keeper. He only got 29. You see, when, when they were having an issue, you know, guys, when West Indies were actually having an issue, you know, we were thinking that if this man would just bat, issue we were keeping his concern. If this man would just bat Hamilton, that is, you know, then he would probably get an opportunity in the team. Right? Uh, the next person, yeah, that's basically how it went. Um, Rakim Carnwall didn't score. Um, Colin Archibald, he didn't. He, he got only three. So those are the guys that really did the damage for. Um, well, those are <laughs> that damage. Those are the guys that got the runs for them, right? Um, in terms, in terms of um, Barbados, no, you will be surprised of a name. Shane Dorich doing the business with the bat. I know a couple of my viewers and subscribers will be happy to hear that Shane Dorich actually got out and get some runs. So in their 300 and add uh, West Indies captain Craig Brathwaite, he got 29 of 122 deliveries. So this man occupying the crease once again. Funny enough, those 29 runs that he actually got, we're talking about five fours. He got five fours out of that 29. So, you know, it seems as if he was just using the time to sharpen him, sharpen him, um, sharpen his, his, his I get you know get himself in knowing that he's going to be going up against England. Shane Mosley only got 13 of 71. Raymond Rifa, he got 23. Uh Jonathan Carter 25. Justin Greaves 7. And the man that got a solid half century. Shane Dorich. Yes, man getting 86 of 154 deliveries. So the guy is playing cricket. I'm not sure why he's not um in the West Indies selectors might well. Let me not say he's not in their mind, but he's playing his cricket. So let us see. 86 of 154. Yes, man. Um, Springer. Shamar Springer getting 91. You understand? Um, Jamal Warikan got only two. Um, Shamar Hola getting 22. Right now, the bowlers for Leeward Islands. Let me give you quickly. Uh, let me just. Uh, Colin Archibald, he got three wickets. Um, uh, Dev Devon Thomas, am I seeing correctly? Got one. <laughs> Rakim Carnwall, Big Jim, he got four wickets. You understand? And um, Terence Ward got two wickets. So those are the guys that did the damage there for Leewards. Let me see um, where the bowling is concerned for Barbados now. You know, Barbados usually pride themselves in their bowling. Shamar Holder, another man that is working on his fitness, trying to get himself up. He had 10 overs in, didn't get any wicket. Kian Harding, though, he was able to pick up four wickets. Uh, Justin Greaves, uh, Raymond Simmons, Raymond Rifa. No, Rifa didn't get any, but Greaves and Simmons, they got one each. Jamar Warrikan got one, and Jonathan Carter got two. So that is what it looks like, my viewers and subscribers, in the competition, in the game with those two guys. Um, so yeah, that is basically how it looks. So you know, as I said, West Indies, um, West Indies will be taking on England pretty soon. So a lot of these guys need to put their hands up and say, "Hear what? You know, we we definitely need a run in this team." And as I said, there are a lot of slots there, especially where specialist batsmen are concerned. Um, that is the thing that you will have one or two players that will dominate at this level You know they dominate this level But when it is time for them to step up to the international level then there is a big big difference But the stage is there the opportunity is there and You know it's just for them to go out there and show that they are capable Because at the end of the day if a man put the runs up if a man take the wickets and he's not being selected People are going to be asking why so we're going to leave it right there for now my viewers and subscribers sports to the bone Keeping you informed, please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. And guys, remember to hit that subscribe button. I know I am not um, uploading as often and as often as I used to, but we will get there once again, guys. Just give me some time to finish this transition and all of that, and we will get there. So let's big up on yourself, man. Enough love.